A cordial welcome to all of you tuning in today. We're thrilled to be your guide through stories that inspire, inform, and ignite change. Our channel is dedicated to shedding light on the power of collaboration and the indomitable spirit of humanity. Today, we're delving into an uplifting tale of solidarity and resilience unfolding in the heart of Lesotho. If stories like this pique your interest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest content. Now, Without further ado, let's delve into the heartwarming story of the Lesotho Prime Minister's Welcome. Our tale begins with a special visit to Lesotho. Nestled in the heart of Southern Africa, this mountain kingdom was celebrating a significant milestone, its 200th anniversary. Among the guests of honour was Prince Harry, known affectionately by the Basotho people as Mohali, who returned to this place that has come to feel like a second home. Prince Harry's connection with Lesotho extends beyond diplomatic ties. It is a relationship fostered over two decades ago during his gap year and has since grown into a profound commitment to bettering the lives of the nation's most vulnerable children. This commitment is embodied in Centabale, an organisation co-founded by Prince Harry and Lesotho's Prince Seiso. Centabale, meaning forget-me-not in Sesotho, is a poignant reminder of Prince Harry's late mother, Princess Diana, and her own humanitarian work. The primary purpose of Prince Harry's visit was to celebrate and further the work of Centabale. The organisation has been a beacon of hope, providing health, education and livelihood opportunities to the region's children. With almost 80,000 children impacted annually, the organisation has made significant strides, particularly in the fight against HIV. Over 90% of people living with HIV in Lesotho now know their status and receive treatment a feat that would not have been possible without Centabale's tireless efforts. But the visit was about more than just numbers. It was about conversations, about listening and learning. Prince Harry, alongside the King, Queen and Prime Minister of Lesotho, engaged in discussions about the achievements of Centabale and its future aspirations. The dialogue revolved around the importance of collaboration and teamwork in driving towards a brighter future. Prince Harry's visit to the Mamahato Children's Centre, where Centibale's youth programmes are run, was particularly poignant. His interactions with the children, their smiles, their stories, were a testimony to the transformative power of care, compassion and community. This visit was not just a ceremony, but a testament to the enduring partnership between Prince Harry and Lesotho. A partnership built on shared values, mutual respect and a steadfast commitment to creating a better world for the next generation. A highlight of the visit was the heartfelt welcome from the Lesotho Prime Minister. The Prime Minister's welcome was not a mere formality or a protocol to be followed. It was a moment of genuine warmth and sincerity, a testament to the deep-rooted ties that bind Prince Harry, Centabali, and the people of Lesotho. His words, rich with appreciation and respect, painted a picture of a nation eternally grateful for the tireless efforts of those dedicated to uplifting its most vulnerable children. He spoke with a profound understanding of the importance of collaboration in charitable efforts. He emphasised how the partnerships forged by Centabale have been instrumental in the strides made towards improving the lives of those affected by HIV-AIDS in Lesotho and Botswana. He acknowledged the shared commitment to youth empowerment, health and education, the shared fight against the stigmatisation of HIV and the shared joy in each step forward made. The Prime Minister's appreciation for Centibale's work was palpable. Every word resonated with gratitude for the significant impact the organisation has had on the lives of thousands of children. He expressed his admiration for the commitment and dedication of Prince Harry, his co-founder, Prince Cieso, and the entire Centibale team. His words were a tribute to the power of compassion a celebration of the triumphs of tenacity and a testament to the transformative potential of unity. But his welcome was more than just a thank you note. It was a pledge of continued collaboration, an assurance of Lesotho's unwavering commitment to the cause. He acknowledged the challenges that lie ahead, but his words resonated with optimism, echoing the shared vision for a brighter, healthier future for the children of Lesotho. Throughout his address, the Prime Minister's tone embodied the spirit of Lesotho, resilient, hopeful and warm. His words were a beautiful blend of gratitude and ambition, a reflection of the nation's journey and its dreams. The Prime Minister's words were not just a welcome, 
but a heartfelt acknowledgement of the positive impact of their collaboration. His welcome was a tribute to the power of collective action, a celebration of the triumphs of tenacity, and a testament to the transformative potential of unity. It was a beacon of hope, shining brightly on the path towards a future where every child in Lesotho can live a healthy, happy and fulfilling life. The Prime Minister's words were a testament to the profound impact of Centabale. Centabale, a beacon of hope and a pillar of support, has been instrumental in changing the lives of vulnerable children in Lesotho. In the face of adversity, the organisation has stood firm, providing a lifeline to those most in need. A striking example of Centabale's success is its efforts in combating HIV-AIDS. By focusing on education and awareness, the organisation has made significant strides in this arena. Now over 90% of people living with HIV in Lesotho are not only aware of their status, but are also receiving vital treatment. This is a monumental achievement considering the devastating impact of HIV-AIDS on the region. Centabale's youth programmes at the Mamahato Children's Centre are another testament to their unwavering commitment. These initiatives empower children with health, education and livelihood opportunities. Through these programmes, Centabal has managed to positively impact nearly 80,000 children annually. These children, once vulnerable and marginalised, are now equipped with the tools to thrive and flourish. Furthermore, Prince Harry's visits to Lesotho have been marked by his close interactions with the children and his commitment to making a positive impact in the region. His dedication to Centabali is a driving force behind the charity's success. His fundraising efforts, including a generous donation from his memoir proceeds, have played a significant role in propelling the organisation forward. In addition, partnerships with philanthropists and corporate foundations have been key in bolstering Centabali's efforts. These collaborations have allowed Centabali to address challenges faced by the youth in Southern Africa, focusing on digital skills, education and job creation. Centabali's work goes beyond just providing immediate relief. It is about creating a sustainable impact and empowering the next generation to take charge of their destiny. It's about giving hope where it's needed most and fostering resilience and strength in the face of adversity. Indeed, Centabal's work is a beacon of hope for the children of Lesotho. The visit concluded with a shared vision for a brighter future. Centabali, under the dedicated leadership of Prince Harry, has always focused on empowering the vulnerable, on providing them with the tools to take control of their lives. This visit was no different. Discussions revolved around the future aspirations of Centabale, on how to further expand the reach and deepen the impact of their work. Prince Harry, known affectionately as Mohale by the Basoto people, emphasised the importance of teamwork in achieving these lofty goals. It's not about a single person or entity, it's about a collective effort, a shared dream. This dream is to ensure that every child in Lesotho and beyond has access to the education, the healthcare, the opportunities that they deserve. It's about empowering them to rise above their circumstances, to build a life they can be proud of. This shared vision is one of hope, of progress. It's about creating a future where the children of Lesotho are not just surviving but thriving. It's about creating a future where these children are able to contribute positively to their communities, their country, the world. Prince Harry's commitment to this vision was evident. His passion, his dedication, his love for the people of Lesotho was palpable. His commitment to Centabale, to the children it serves, is unwavering. As the visit came to an end, it was clear that the bond between Lesotho and Centabale is stronger than ever. And with this bond, with this shared vision, the future is brighter than ever for the children of Lesotho. As we wrap up this story of warmth and collaboration, it's clear that the power of unity and the commitment to a cause can indeed be a beacon of hope. The impactful work of Centabale in Lesotho is a testament to this. The journey does not end here, though. There are countless other stories of resilience, compassion and progress waiting to be told. But for that, we need you. Your support breathes life into these narratives. By subscribing to our channel, liking our videos and sharing them with your community, you become a part of these stories. You contribute to the spread of awareness about such significant initiatives, amplifying their reach and impact. You, along with organisations like Centre Bali, are the architects of a brighter future. So let's join hands, let's spread the word, and let's continue to make a difference. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.
Goodbye and stay tuned for more heartwarming stories like this one.